Hey there, my name's Steve, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use the Files API. One of the biggest problems that some developers will face in the current ecosystem is if they need to add file uploads to their application, they have to manage something like S3, which is hard to configure, really messy, and just not simple. And if you're trying to just get an app up and running and you need something quick, Pinata is here to solve that problem for you. We make file uploads and retrievals incredibly simple, no matter what language you might be working in. Now, if you came to this video looking to see how to use Pinata's IPFS API, we actually have a separate video for that, which you can find in the link in the description. In this tutorial, we're gonna show you how to use the API in TypeScript, mostly because it's easy to visualize how things are running in TypeScript, but keep in mind that Generally, since it's an API, it'll work in any language that you need to work in. That also means if you are working in TypeScript, it might actually be better to use the SDK. So if you want to see that video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and we'll have that video out for you shortly. So with that, let's get started. All right, so to get started to use the Files API, the first thing you're going to need is your API key and your gateway URL. Once you've created an account and you're signed in, just click on the API keys tab over here and go ahead and click New Key. Once you do this, you can go ahead and give it a name and we'll just call this API, give it a scope of admin and let's leave this untoggled, this limit max uses. And then when you're ready, you're just going to click generate API key. Once you do this, it's going to give you an API key, API key secret, and it's going to give you a JWT, which is a bit longer and that's the one we're going to use primarily. So I'm going to go ahead and generate that now and fast forward. All right, so we have our API key. The next thing we need is our gateway URL. You do that by just going to the gateways tab here. It's gonna already be generated for you. You just see this URL here. Just go ahead and copy it like that. Put it where your API key is. It doesn't need to be secret. This one can be public. But we just need to go ahead and have both of those all set to go. All right, so now for the next part, we're gonna go ahead and actually clone a repo that I already have set up that has all the basic functions of the API ready to go. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and open up our terminal. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger for y'all. And I'm gonna go ahead and move this into my desktop. And we're gonna do git clone, and I'll have this link in the description, but it's github.com slash pinata cloud files API starter. So let's go ahead and clone that in here. Now for this, we're actually going to use bun. If you haven't used bun before, I'll have a link below to just install that as well. It just makes things like running TypeScript and accessing files really, really simple. And so it's really easy to install, has all platform supported. And uh, so once we have this, we're gonna go ahead and run bun install. And that's gonna go ahead and install all of our packages very, very quickly. And then we're gonna go ahead and open this up in our text editor, that could be VS Code. I personally like using Zed, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And let's go ahead and increase the size here. And the first file we're gonna go ahead and open up is the .env.example. So this is where we're gonna go ahead and put our API key and our gateway URL. And what you wanna do is just go ahead and rename this file from .ev example to just .env. That's gonna hide it. It's gonna keep it from being included in your future Git uploads. And we're just gonna go ahead and copy paste those keys that you had earlier into here. So go ahead and do that now and meet you in just a second. Once you have that saved and put away, we can go ahead and go to our first file, which is going to be upload file. .ts. Now using the files API is very, very simple. First, we're gonna go ahead and create a file object. And this is gonna be using the web API standard for files, where you basically have the content itself and then the name of the file. Uh, if you had a local file, we have our documentation on how to load that into a file object. It's really, really simple. And once we have our file, we're gonna create some new form data to make a form data request. And we're gonna basically attach that file and we're gonna attach it under the name or field file. And once you do that, the rest of this stuff is optional. So one thing you can do here is uh, append a name. So if you wanted to have a custom name other than the hello.txt, then you can do that here. We also have a group ID. Now groups, which we'll get into in just a little bit, allow you to group your files into categories or into uh, pieces that you can kind of organize and fetch later. They're really, really handy. And so normally if you want to do a, a group, you would have the group underscore ID, and then you'd put the group ID here. And we'll look at that in a little bit. And when you do that, that's going to upload the file to the group on upload. Now the next piece here is also really nice. This is going to be our key value stores, key value stores. 
Basically, this is extra information that you can store about the file. And it's really handy because you can store pretty much anything. You can store user IDs and other stuff to help attach who that file belongs to. It really extends your application without having to attach extra information to like a database per se. So in here, you know, I have like env prod or user sudo, something like that. And that's just going to be under the field key values. And it's just a JSON stringified object. Really easy. Now when it comes to the actual request, we can see here it's going to be upload request. It's going to upload.pinata.cloud slash v3 slash files. It's a post, re post request. And the other important piece here is our headers. Right here we're doing an authorization header starting with bear. And then we're going to process that pinata JWT that you saw earlier. And that's just being put in right here. And then for our body, we're going to attach that form data that we you know used earlier. And then uh, once that's uploaded, we're going to parse the response, and then we're going to log it out. So to run it, we can just go ahead and do run, or bun, sorry, bun upload file.ts. And there we go. Once we upload that file, this is going to be our response object back. It includes things like the file ID, the name of the file, the CID, which is a cryptographic cache or identifier for the file, when it's created at, the size, number of files, mime type, and user ID. If we uploaded it to a group, we would also see the group ID here as well. Now that we have our file, we can actually look and list the file. So let's go ahead and open up that file and do list files. And with here, you can actually filter on multiple different query parameters. So in here, I've go ahead and constructed a query params object. And what you could do here is do different things like you can query by name. So I can look for files that start with hello.txt. Uh, you can do group ID. So here's just a random UUID I have in here. So you can search it by group. You can do by uh, MIME type. You can also do by CID as well, which comes in real handy. Uh, you can also set a limit to the query param. So you can do like a limit of number of responses you get back, which is pretty handy. And we also have pagination. So if you wanted to page through the results, if you have a lot of them, you have pagination here and you can use the page token as one of the params. So we basically take all those queries, put them into a string, and then we're going to attach it to this endpoint, which is api.pinata.cloud slash v3 slash files. And then we have our queries at the end there. And with that, we just go ahead and make the request. We have the same authorization header that we had before, and we just parse the response. So since we uploaded a file, if we run this function, we should be see, able to see the file that we uploaded. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to do bun list files. And there we go. We're going to get a files array that has an array of files that returned, as well as the page token, and we can see all the extra information here. So we have our file, but the one thing that we're kind of missing is how do we access that file? Well, since all files are private by default, we need to create a signed URL, basically a temporary link that we can access the file through. And we're going to do that with this file, which is create signed URL. And this one is actually really simple. I've added some extra requests in here to kind of easily parse things out for you so you don't have to manually copy and paste file IDs or CIDs or anything like that. So what I'm going to do here is I first make a first request that will request all of my files and I'll just get the latest file and get the CID for that file, that cryptographic ID. And then I'm going to construct a payload. Now, this is the important part for creating a signed URL. The URL field that you put here is going to be that gateway. It's going to be how you access those files. So we have the gateway URL slash files and then the CID with that cryptographic ID. And then we're going to have a date, which you can just put today's date, which I've kind of calculated here. And we're also going to have expires. This is going to be the number of seconds that the link is valid for. And then finally, we have the method. So it's going to be how we're going to be accessing that signed URL. We're going to make a get request to it, ultimately. And now once you have that payload constructed, you can go ahead and send a request to sign URL request. And it's going to be api.pin.cloud slash file slash sign. And we're going to do a post request. Since we're sending a JSON body attachment, we're going to use the content type application slash JSON. We're going to have our authorization header, as always. And then we're going to send that body. And once we do that, we're going to parse out the response. All right, so let's do that now. We're going to do run bun create signed URL. And you can see here we have this URL that we can use to access the content. So if we do curl and just paste this in, there we go. That is the file content, hello world. So we were able to access that URL as expected.
And the last thing I'm going to show you real quick is going to be groups. Now, I mentioned earlier, groups are a way that you can organize your files and list them and query them. It just makes things a bit more organized. And it allows you to basically segment pieces of your app into different pieces of data. So if you have like a user, you can put all of a user's files into a group or something like that. And creating a group is super simple through the files API. We just have a JSON body that's going to be the name of the group. And then we can have whether we want it to be public or not. And this is also how you can make files publicly accessible without having to create signed URLs. So, you know, this is a really handy feature to have. So and the URL is just going to be api.pinyon.cloud slash v3 slash files slash groups. It's going to be a post request. Since we're just sending JSON, we're going to have our content type here, authorization with our bear, and then the actual request of data. So let's go ahead and try running this one. So move bun, create group.ts. Here we go. So we got the response back that our group has been created. We have the ID of the group. Now, there's nothing in this group right now. So if we wanted to, we could copy this ID and we could include it in our upload file request here. So if we wanted to go to this right here to upload a group, we could put the group ID in here if we wanted to. Now, another way you could add files to group is doing it after the fact with the endpoint for adding files to a group. So in this file of add to group, I basically created a request to uh, fetch all of our groups and get the group ID, the latest group ID. And then I'm gonna fetch our files and I'm just gonna get the latest file ID. And then I'm gonna add the file to a group. And the way you do that is there's going to be the URL of our standard base URL and then files slash group slash group ID. So you're gonna pass in the dynamic group ID here. Then there's gonna be path IDs and then the actual file ID that you're adding into that group. And that's gonna be a put method with the same authorization and what I've done here as well is once I've added that file to the group, we're actually going to go ahead and fetch that file through uh, v3 slash file slash file ID. And that way you can actually see that the file was added to the group. So let's go ahead and run that now. We're going to do bun add to group. And there we go. This is going to be the response if a file was added correctly. It's just going to be data null. And then we can see here, once we fetch that file, we have the group ID here, and that's the file that we added to that group. So now it is part of the group. Now, with all the things that I've showed you today, probably something you really want to take note of is our documentation. If you go to docs.pinata.cloud and then just go to this API tab reference here at the top, you're going to see all the different API endpoints that we went over today and more. So you have things like upload a file. It's going to have all the details here. We're going to have list files, get file by ID. If you want to update a file, you could do that here. Now, all the different ones for groups and more. So be sure to check out docs.pinata.cloud. Check out the API reference, and you'll see even references of different languages and how to use the API in those languages. Well, that wraps up this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any thoughts or comments or questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And we can't wait to see what you build.